everybody, uh, Dizzy Arles here. I'm attempting my first attempt at doing an acrylic mix and then I'm going to actually attempt to do my first acrylic nail. I have to thank, I think you pronounce it Viani Lu One. I will put a link in the description to the video I'd watched in giving the directions of how to do a mix. Like I say, I've never done anything with acrylics but I've been itching to get along and do one and I did do a review on these Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse uh, sequined heads yesterday and as you say that it might look nice in an acrylic mix so I thought well why, why not have a go like I said I've never done it before so please be kind to me and the ratios is 50-50 um, so if you got 50% acrylic then everything else has to be 50 or less uh, so that it will give a chance for the acrylic to mix so I've just got some plain white acrylic I can't really pronounce the name of it because it's foreign on it I've got some measuring spoons and I'm going to take the half a teaspoon spoon and we want two of those I need a bit more than that. So there's your acrylic powder. I'm just going to pop the lid on this. Why do these lids never want to go back on again? <laughs> and then I'm going to take the Minnie Mouse sequins. And I'm only actually going to put one eight for these in. because Just because they are actually so big. And I don't know, quite know how it's going to work. Oops. So I'm just going to probably put a bit less than one eighth. You can just see a little hair there. Take that out. We don't want that in the mix. And put the lid on that. And then I'm going to take the red. And I'm going to take a quarter teaspoon of the red glitter. It's probably not the best way of oops this glitter some fell in so I'm not quite putting that in and then I just want a quarter of the black because from looking on videos uh, black seems to overrun and the reason I've gone with these colours just because these are the colours that um, remind me of Mickey Mouse really so I've got a tad of that I'm just putting the lids on these and then you want to get a clear cuticle stick, orange stick, whatever you want and give it a good old mix around making sure that it's fully mixed these are the smallest pots I could find to do the mixing, unfortunately, but they do have lids on so I can keep it safe. But I think that glitter is mixed in well. Right, now for the scary part for me is I'm actually going to do a go down the acrylic nails. So I'm just going to take my dampening dish and pour some of the acrylic liquid inside and I don't really know how much of this you need or anything so as it's all trial and error for me um, I'm just going to this brush is new so I'm just going to dampen that inside there just to loosen up the bristles a little I'm just going to dampen that off onto some kitchen towel. Now please bear with me, like I say, I've never done this. I've, all I have done is I have got a practice finger, I put a tip on and just blended it and put some prep solution on. Um, so take your liquid solution, I don't know how much of this you need, I really don't know, but I'm not going to have my finger very wet, and then just place it into 
secret powder. I don't know if I've got enough liquid on there or not, I don't know. No, it just seems very dry. So maybe I need some more, more in the liquid than I thought. Right, let's attempt that again. No, it's not really a very good demonstration this is it really. I've had to wet my brush, see if that works. Ah, that seems to be working a little bit better. I don't quite know how you meant to put this on really. I'm just going to even it out, smooth it out at the tip. So I'm going quiet and trying to concentrate but like I say I've never ever done this before. And I'm just going to try and create a smile line. I don't want that on there actually. done this too thick or what but this liquid seems to be smoothing it out somewhat. I can't really see any of the uh, Mickey Mouse heads. I don't know if any got picked up or what. Let's see if we can just put a little bit on and grab a Mickey Mouse. Maybe they are just too big. Like I say I've never done this before. So Oh, that, see, that's just picked a big clump of them up. Mm, way too much, really. Let's see if I can get rid of one. This is going to be one hefty nail tip. It's a good job. It's not going on anybody's real finger, isn't it? Just try and smooth that out a bit more. Now I don't know if you're meant to do your tips first or you're meant to do... I need a little bit more of powder here. If you're meant to do the nail bed first i don't know like i say it's the first time i've ever done these so I keep repeating myself just ignore me That's what it looks like up to now. Like I say, I don't know. I'm not really keen on it myself, but let's continue. I just put the lid on that, and I'm presuming you clean the acrylic off with this solution as also. I don't want any of the acrylic to dry up in the brush. in there and then I'll get some pink acrylic powder is it and that's clear I can show you the pots actually now that's what make they are so I don't know about makes of different acrylic powders this I presume just some cheap make and I'm presuming you just have to wait for that to dry and that seems to have gone a bit hard so 
is take the pink acrylic powder and dip my brush again into the liquid and you have to wait for that to go all over it because I can see some of it isn't wet, I don't know I'm going to just place that in and work it onto the nail bed it's going to end up having to be quite thick Dragging the excess off. And then placing it back. This stuff does smell somewhat. That's certain. So I have done the nail bed like it's quite thick and then I think you have to encapsulate it with a clear again all using the same make of acrylic powder whoops that's just got everywhere didn't pick up that much did it <laughs> well, I think I'm definitely going to have a need a lot of practice with the uh, like that's for certain. It's not going to be an overnight job, that's for sure. Anyone got any hints and tips? Tell me how I'm doing it wrong, it'd be much appreciated. seems to be going into the pot, pot so I'm obviously applying it wrong or I've got too much liquid on my brush I'm not quite certain right, so that's what I've done up to now so I'll leave that to dry 
and I'll sand it down and then I'll get back to you with some pictures but thanks for watching guys and see you soon bye hi everyone it's back again I've now I've done my filing I can't actually say it was a resigning success I've got some marking here which I did see as I was putting the acrylic on I don't know if the camera will pick it up but it looks like I've actually scratched the surface but it was like that before it even started to um, file I remember it going a bit white as I was doing like the clear overlay so I don't know if I've ended up um, dragging some of the white I don't know I don't think that mix is particularly pretty either uh, you can vaguely work out and that's probably because I only know they're there of the Minnie Mouse heads so I wouldn't say it was the best success in the world but I don't think it was the worst nail I've ever seen especially given it's my first attempt I don't know if it'll camera pick up but I've actually still got like the arch and stuff uh, but like it did take a fair bit of filing to get it an even coverage and all I've done is done the top coat so please give me a thumbs up, some helpful hints, some comments would be fantastic and subscribers would be even more fantastic. So thanks for watching guys and see you soon. Bye.